Hello everyone, this is Kat and welcome back to the channel. And today we got a uh, big build here uh, with Twin Mammoth. It's been a long time since I brought out a Twin Mammoth build and I want to see how it performs in the current meta. I only played a few matches so it's going to be semi-live uh, to see how <laughs> this thing is going to be formed. And we're going to have a tilted build, you can see of course the, uh, for the people that don't know, uh, if you use something like twin wheels in combination with big foods, big foods of course have a uh, larger circumference, which means they are higher off the ground than the twin wheels, which when you actually load the build, will actually means that your build will actually be tilting downwards uh, in comparison to the horizon, which means that your gun is going to have extra gun depression, which is really handy on a large heavy uh, twin mammoth build with the mammoths on the back because they are firing over the humpback cabin which means that they have um, quite a high uh, barrel uh, elevation so you're going to need to be able to fire down to actually hit people close by. Now in terms of frontal protection we got a pair of train plows and uh, those are actually oriented in this very specific fashion so they actually fit Get her really nicely. Got a hard module in the front, and then we go on to the back. Got a Colossus and expanded ammo pack, then a pair of gun mounts and some small bulky floors to mount the guns. And before we actually mount the guns, first we are gonna finish up the back here with some more expanded ammo packs, some ammo cover. We definitely do not want to have people fire <laughs> in our rear. Now we are using these CK mammoths, uh, these are reinforced. But, of course, you can use just your normal mammoths. I just think these look way better. Uh, but I do not ha currently have the CK version on the normal gun. So I actually ended up using a pair of reinforced because I didn't have any real other like, lying around. That said, we are now going on to the rear. Got some flaming rakes, observation pods. And we got our twin slope here connected to the wheel back. Which gives us place to put down this keen antenna. And uh, you can see here how the uh, uh, these uh, small IPC roof parts actually clip through the radar. And while that's a bit of a fault on the developer's part, it's not actually like a abuse of bugs or something, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I forgot to delete that part earlier, so um, for the, also that's for clear uh, for the people that also don't know what's going to happen. I'm actually undoing uh, me deleting the build earlier. And by uh, placing Ctrl C, Ctrl C continuously, you can easily see how it has been built. Got a fire and a Comedian Mark II. Uh, as you can see with that and the gas generator and this ammo pack all being on the left in comparison to like the engineer on the right, you really want to like uh, turn your hull basically with uh, there being the enemy. So that's uh, this side will be facing the enemy. And once you start getting low health, you want to turn forward to have the train plows take some bunch of extra hits. Set. Let's uh, continue to the front here. And this side is going to be a bit complicated. We've got this tank side part here um, already, which you're going to replace that a bit later. Got a wheel back, doing some wheel cover and make sure some spare shots do not really go into the engine there. And we got a double layer of buggy rears basically. And those are all covered up by these pair of narrow wings. We got a small strut and this observation pods in the side as well. Right crutch, we got a Torino Bonet on our gun mount, and on this side we also have that Briggy rear pair. And again the Torino Bonet. And narrow wings. Again the small strut. This one is actually here is not connected. It's only connected to the operation pods, but they're, they're just these little corner parts. And I really like how the way how they look. Um, it's more looks than function really. That said, we're gonna go on to the front area here now. We got these uh, wheel backs, again, a bit of wheel coverage, and we got our tank side parts. To, lastly, to finish things off, we are using these little IPC roof parts. They are put like this, so they connect up to these crutches. Otherwise, you would just put them in the middle, but in this case, you will not. And we got a small plow in the front to try and deter some uh, like wedges, etc. Here you can see how far the guns can actually aim down. Gonna fire only a bare bit in front of you. And you can see if I just drive outside, the camera will zoom out a little bit more. You can e see how far it's inclined forward. You and even that the middle wheels, 
the two uh, twin steering wheels actually do not touch the ground. And also they technically do not really have any effect on turning the radius, but if I lose my front wheels, they are still steering because they actually, when I, well, I'm, if I'm steering, they actually do touch the ground, give me some extra grip and prevent me from uh, like getting some oversteer. Of course, the rear triple wheels. So also something that you pretty regularly see in builds like this. So it's, it's a pretty generic styled build. Of course, like the specifics on how the armor layer, etc. will be different than where you'll place the ammo, whatever. Will be different from player to player, but the general build with large wheels in the back, smaller wheels in the front, guns behind the cabin, is pretty common for mammoths. And of course, we got the radar to make sure we can differentiate our opponents even from afar. Of course, what you could do is equip an Apollo, but then you would actually run into high mass issues. This thing is already using a heavy lifting cabin because of some uh, tonnage issues. The mass is perfectly fine with only uh, 21,400 out of 23,000. Of course, this is using the uh, extra 500 kilogram tonnage and maximum mass from the cabin. But uh, thanks to the last uh, later on change of the actual wheels, you should still have enough tonnage even without that maximum level master jack. With that, we're going to go into a match. Perfect timing. And let's see what we can do. Do not want to go to the left side. Definitely, uh, we're going to stay on the right side. Because on the right side, of course, we have this thing preventing people from getting pretty uh, at long range for, for, uh, comparison to us. Uh, our entire team seems to be going left. Got some fast runners as well. Both sides have fast runners, which I'm not really happy about. So I'm just gonna see if I can keep hugging this ball and fire away. Oh, hello. This might be a problem. Yeah, uh, if somebody gets behind me like that, I, I do not have the turret rotation to deal with that. And that's kind of a big bummer. Of course, they are going to go for the big, lumbering, heavy mammoth build. So, that has not changed. We are still weak against mammoth builds, and definitely those kind of things are going to happen more often. Because even if we could get our guns turned... We had no way to fire at him because our guns were just like f bullets would fly over. And we cut some uh, people from clans playing together. Ooh. Leroy Jenkins. Hello. Okay, we've got a uh, rusher in the right here. Where'd he go? It's on the other side. I'm not sure what he's doing, but I'm just gonna move in, follow Leroy. I'm not happy with that. We should be out of his range soon. Oh, it's one of those. Infinite shield builds. Oh, this is really annoying, honestly. Huh. There we go. Can't really do much against those, but... Oh well. Let's see if I can actually hit... Ooh! Shields out for a moment. I got some damage. 
I think I should get out of cloak because we're capping. And if we cap A, that will definitely help. I personally do not think Fusion would be cheating. It is it's just a bit of a lame this specific design. But yeah well. That's four, we lost two. Should be fine. Now I gotta head to two. Um, to to be to make sure that they will uh... oh that's that was a miss shot and uh, we could manage to get B go underneath there now we're back to B so we can actually cap it and with that we will force them to come to us rather than us coming to them for of course this build being rather slow lumbering we do not want to uh I'm gonna have to chase after people. That's why they're just gonna stick here for now. Cannot get a firing solution over the boat, sadly. And that's gonna be a victory for us. Alright. It's gonna do one more match. Of course. Matches in this tier can take somewhat long sometimes. There we go. New clan on the other side this time. Nice. And I think we're actually gonna go in the tick of it with this one. Because why the heck not? And of course. Mammoths are brawling weapons. So yeah, let's go. Kinda sit behind his wall. And, oh, hello. Two good hits, nice. So there's a triple cannon. Triple eighty eight. Set up. I don't want to get shot up much more by the eighty eights though. Ouch. And okay, yeah, they got it. I'm moving backwards. Oh. This might be an issue. Yeah, there we go. That was a gas generator. <laughs> this build is definitely interesting. Pretty lightweight. Yeah, that said, while it was a bit of a short one, that's already three matches. Do not want to keep this video going for much longer. I. I think you would be interested in having another video and having this one last five more minutes. And so all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as always. And uh, well, I guess we should do a last conclusion, shouldn't we? Um, mammoths have honestly always had one big issue is the weight. And of course also the pretty big hitbox, although the uh, big hit boss is, is negated by the small PC roof bar and whatever else. The amount of health it has in comparison to how big it is makes it not that very well protected. In comparison, things like the Punisher 
per block will not have that much less health, honestly. Remember guys, this is an 8x8x6 eight by eight by gun. This is only like a 4x4x4 four by four by four gun. So this thing is 8 times the size. And definitely does not have 8 times the health. Even if that's the only top block, it only has like about the same health as the Punisher. But the Punisher is much harder to actually hit. So with that, I can say that you're still going to lose these guns a lot. And with the weight, you cannot really protect your gun and your ha entire vehicle that much. I mean, I'm only at two, uh, 2200 durability and the highest I've ever gotten a uh, humpback mammoth build, it was like 3000 health. So you are definitely limited there as well. But they are definitely formidable brawling weapons. Even though they are not mana, you should not underestimate a build with these because they will punch you hard in the face. So that said, now I'm just going to say hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.